All right. So I've acquired some new uh, gear and I've been waiting for this gear since uh, August last year. So it is almost, well, no, it's more than a year overdue. And uh, it's these new Husqvarna Professional Line batteries. I'm quite happy that I have them because, well, my old ones are starting to have some issues, you know. All of these uh, old ones, except for the newer ones, see, they are, they are failing <laughs> at the same point. Now, you can exchange these uh, front pieces for new ones. Uh, they are still working and uh, they're okay even in the rain, but uh, these new ones have a couple of options that I really do like. So let's put those options uh, next to each other. I already made a little list here. Anyways, uh, they are a bit more expensive because they are not produced in China anymore. And that's exactly why ha we have been waiting for them such a long time. China could not deliver. So there were back orders for a year, one and a half years. And if you are a professional company and you need a battery right now, <clears throat> That means that uh, you won't get one. So what did Husqvarna do? They built new factories in Poland. These are produced in Poland. It's probably on here somewhere. Focus. It doesn't want to get so close, but it says made in Poland. And uh, that's why we had to wait such a long time. A new factory takes time. That makes them a bit more expensive, but the quality is still plastic, but it seems... Well, by eye and by touch, it feels a bit more durable. Now, these new batteries have a few extra options. They've got active cool, and active cool means that they get cooled when you use them and they also get cooled when you charge them. Not only by the engine of the saw and the engine of your uh, loader, but also by their own little engine inside. Active cool. And uh, that results, at least at the data that I could find, I have charged these now but I didn't use a stopwatch and it wouldn't be fair against such old batteries that I have, but the numbers say that normally in a QC330 that I have, it will take a BLI100 50 minutes and a BLI200X 50 minutes and the B140X, the 40B140X, the new battery, takes 40 minutes. So, well that's extra time whilst charging. And it's also extra time when you use them. Really nice. Next to that, they have a Bluetooth connectivity option built in. And when you use the Husqvarna uh, fleet control, fleet service, you can add these batteries to that and uh, you can read them out. You can read how many hours you've used them. You can read out uh, how many times you charge them. You can read out all kinds of uh, different specs that you can also uh, read out on your saws. This is a fairly new 2T542i. And this is my old T540i. And this is actually the oldest battery saw that I have. The T536. And nowadays it's called the T535. They used to call it 536 because of 36 volts. And now they call it 535 because that represents the CCs that it's supposed to be equivalent to. 42 CCs, 40 CCs. And that's a bit how it works. Now what I want to do, I want to weigh them together with you just to see what you get. Because the 140X 
and I'll get a bit deeper into the name uh, soon enough. But the 140X is supposed to be the new equivalent to the 100, the 220X to the 200, and the 330X, uh, which I didn't buy, should be an equivalent to the 300. Anyway, let's weigh them together and see what we have. Put that on, put a 140X on top, and it says 890.4 grams. Oh, come on. There. So, 119.4. Okay. Now I want to know the 100, because it's the equivalent, right? And it's going to be lighter. Hmm, that's not correct, that point, but... That's, this shouldn't be a point. <laughs> this should be 1194 grams. I'm sorry, I just mistook that uh, little water drop there for uh, a point. 1194 grams. So that's a kilo and 194 grams. Sorry about that. This is all live, one take, honest material. This is 800. 57 grams. 857. Put an X right there. So we'll get there. Let's put the 220, 220 on there. 1446. Fourteen hundred forty-six, and out of two hundred X, the old type thirteen forty-six, right? Thirteen forty-six. Now, uh, what does that say? To me, it says that with a battery slightly heavier it will give you more time to work with and even better the uh, lightest battery that they produce now the new B140X is considerably lighter you know 200 grams lighter or 150 grams lighter than the 200X and that gives us a new option so we can when using a, a top handle as a climbing saw it's less weight in the tree yes it probably doesn't have the same uh, amount of energy as the 200x but it's more than the 100 and that gives us a lighter option for climbing now let's get into the x name X means the professional line. They all have uh, the same technology inside, so that means that the wiring is the same. That's why they called this 200 battery the 200X, the old type. Uh, they gave it the same wiring as the 300 uh, battery. And a 300 battery and a 200X batteries are uh, thicker wired to deliver enough energy for the T540 and the 542. This 100 battery was only strong enough, you know, because of thinner wiring to power the T540, uh, T536. Anyways, we couldn't use this BLI 100 and the original BLI 200 without the X. We couldn't use those in the professional newer machines because they wouldn't deliver enough uh, energy to the engine. 
So actually your T540 would run the same as your T536 because of the thinner wiring. They've solved that now. They brought out the lightest of the new line batteries. They brought it out with the same wiring as the 220 and the 330. So you can buy now, you can buy these P140s for 248 euros, at least at my store. It differs from store to store and country to country. To country. And to give you an idea, the 200X is 319 euros. 220x, the new one, 349. So it's only slightly more expensive, but it will give you more energy. It will give you new technology, shorter loading times, and it's only 100 grams heavier. The 330 will cost you 449, and the old 300, 448. So there's actually almost no price difference. It will give you shorter loading times. It will give you longer usable time, you know, more energy <clears throat> and it will give you uh, Bluetooth connectivity which I like. I like to be able to check up on how many times I've used them and how they are performing because uh, you can spot bad batteries quicker through the app. So, um, do they fit all your saws? Well, I haven't tried it out yet, but uh, let's try it out live. Put you down here, like so. First off, uh, well, we already know the old batteries fit, so I'll put those away. And uh, let's try that 140X. And it does feel a bit lighter than the 200X old type. Well, no worries about that. That fits. Turns on. And it runs. It runs strong. Does this new type of battery fit your old 535, 536? Oh yeah. It turns on. And it works. Well, that's great. Now, the newest saw, obviously, the 542, will be able to take it, no problem whatsoever. And they run as they are supposed to, quick. Anyway, just a quick update. Uh, I haven't used them in the field yet. It's a stormy day. Uh, Windy, rainy, not much pleasurable weather, so that's why I'm inside. Um, I'm really curious how they hold up. I'm curious about the new fronts, because the old ones, especially in colder weather, when you bump them around a little bit, they start to have these old, the old cracks around the screw holes. I'm curious if these new fronts made in Poland will hold up better and I'm curious to see how long lasting they are. They promise us, as far as I know, they promise us 1500 load cycles without uh, any tiring and obviously afterwards they will slowly start to tire up a bit, meaning they will uh, last you uh, not so long anymore per charge, but they will probably still function. And I'll bet you that my oldest uh, 200X batteries have already passed beyond 1500 load cycles and I still use them daily. And with some of them, I think, and it's only a feeling, I think that they are slowly uh, hold less power but still good enough to work with. Usually I use, with pruning jobs, I only use one and a half batteries, sometimes two, sometimes one. I'm curious how these will hold up. Uh, only time will tell, but they do like look nice. 
I like the design. Husqvarna orange within the design. And uh, you are not supposed to dump them in, a, in the normal garbage, apparently. Connectivity is the same as the old ones. Yeah, a few extra op options for not so much extra money. And uh, I'm happy to see him after uh, more than a year waiting. And about the charging, you don't need to buy a new charger. As I already written down here, I used my old QC330 uh, charger. I've got two of those, and that's all I use. Uh, it's the older type already, even with the older batteries. You already had a QC500 that delivered more power. I don't know if they charge the smaller batteries any quicker. They do charge that 300 battery quicker. Uh, so I'm, I suppose they also will, will charge the 330, the new one, quicker. But for the 220X and the 140X, it doesn't matter. You can get the 330 and it will be uh, just as quick as the 500. So, uh, when I will bring them out for the first time, I will make a video about that too. This is just a theoretical part. And, uh, well, that's it for this short video for today. Happy to have them. Happy to be able to renew the old batteries. And I'm also kind of happy that they are nowadays built in Europe. A European product somehow, even though I've got nothing against China. Uh, but it always sounds a bit more... I don't know, durable, professional. I guess everybody in America does love their American built products a bit more than made in China or made in Europe or made in Taiwan or whatever. So I'm quite happy and I am quite hopeful as well that we will not get any back order time anymore to endure. Because if you are a professional, and for instance, your battery box, like this one, gets stolen, which happened to me a few years ago. And you need new batteries. Nothing sucks harder than to, than to be in a job in an inner city somewhere where you can only, by law nowadays, use electrical equipment. And you can't get new batteries. Very hopeful. Very hopeful that there will be hardly any to no uh, back order time anymore. So that was that for this uh, short video. And uh, I'm sure everybody has a lot of questions. I myself still have a lot of questions. This is a first impression. And uh, as always, I want to mention I buy all my equipment myself with my own money. Uh, nothing is given to me. Everything is unbiased. Nobody pays me for my reviews or my experiences or whatever. This is my honest opinion. And uh, if I find any negativities, I will surely uh, give you an update on those. Uh, so that was it. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, if somebody <laughs> wants me to test something, uh, I'm not against uh, testing stuff that I did not pay for, but uh, it will be honest reviewing. So you can send me stuff, I will test it, but you can't buy my opinion. It will be an honest, unbiased opinion. And uh, if I find negative stuff, I will mention it. So uh, uh, that's an invitation for companies to send me stuff. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Somebody will uh, reply to that, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, have a good day. Hopefully uh, not so windy as uh, we have it here now. And that's that. A great day to everybody.